to us Without my bridge and make a light side and guess it's all I've got the health of a prehistoric man. <laughs> he takes off his shirt. He's just insanely ripped. Where am I? <laughs> Barney. Oh my god. That's my Fred Flintstone. I can literally say Barney. <laughs> I can't say any other words as Fred. Can you do Fred Flintstone? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try, and then I was like, "Reel it in." You I was went, like, "That's uh, a funny." That's pretty good, was it? I think so. I didn't watch a lot of the Flintstones. Was it? No, I wasn't a Flintstones guy. Oh, I loved, I loved the live action movie with John Goodman when we were kids. Such and I used to watch it all the time. <laughs> and then uh, with uh, Rosie O'Donnell is um, Betty is um, <laughs> but um. And I think Rick Moranis. Yeah, is, Rick uh, Moranis was is, uh, is uh, Barney. And uh, in I think the second one, Halle Berry was in it. Yeah, no, yep. no, no, no. Halle Berry's in the first one. She's the secretary She's, to uh, Mr. Slate. Um, and uh, she was uh, I, we we played this in a Spanish class. Okay. One of my teachers played this in Spanish class. You know, put the subtitles. Sure. In to the Flint, the live action Flintstones movie. Yeah, and it got to the part where. Like they the, almost bang it out. The sec, the sexy secretary <laughs> yeah, yeah. is like, oh, f- oh, Fred. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like <laughs> the part in the children's movie where <laughs> Halle Berry almost fucks John Goodman. <laughs> Where at that point in time, uh, the woman from Monster Ball almost bangs the dad from Roseanne. <laughs> he wants the dad yeah, that's, those are the two things that everybody knew those people from. But then the end of Roseanne was very sad. <sighs> yeah, I didn't oh, see it. It's coming you didn't back. Know what I wasn't Roseanne guy. Don't spoil it for him. Oh, it's coming back. Really? It's coming back. They're gonna explain it. When are they? Uh, soon. Tell me, know. is it one of these no, no, like, no, it's infamous gonna... TV things? I'm never gonna yeah, watch. Yeah, it was. Then. It was an infamous TV thing. I don't have a. I don't have an affection for it. All right. The last season, she like like, like Cheers. I'm right. so sorry. One no, second. No, no, but like Cheers. Like, have you gone back? Did you watch Cheers when you were a kid? Yeah, but I don't like know any story arcs. Would you go back and watch it now? Uh, may I'd watch it with you guys, maybe or maybe I'd have to give it a try. Um. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I was always, or I some I the Invisible Man later because I was a nerd. What? I guess I just stayed up later because I was like I was. Yeah, it was always that guy who couldn't fall asleep. So. Right. Yeah, it's true. Because you were like dreading the next day because you had to go back to school where all the bullies were going to beat you up. That's right. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> it's too real. It's real. <laughs> don't worry, Matt. You... It's like he looked into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, oh no, I have to be around hundreds of other people like me. Oh, I like it. But you could turn into like uh, one of those things that uh, like latches onto someone's back and like sucks off their energy, right? Brain suckers? Yeah, br- no, a, pa- a parasite, like a parasite. So I be- oh, what were they called? Holy shit. And I did become like a parasite because any people who would talk to me, I just latched onto what they like. Well, that's oh, what no, you that's do not when bad. you're a kid. Yeah, that's not you bad. Survive. I meant like literally take over someone else's body. Well, it's also yeah. I mean, you could do that. Like, like your tongue would turn in and like go in their neck, and then you'd be like, oh. <laughs> and <laughs> no like, one would notice me. No, they would notice. You would be on the person's back. <clears throat> like if, like if you, um, like if you attacked Seely and you got on his back, and then you made him. Like, like you went like full pickle Rick, and like you could like... Con- you could control him. Yeah, basically. Oh man, if I could control Celia, like but you're that, on his back. That's fine. Okay. Like that's a, a big dude. He's just walking around on people's backs. There's like, like four people. Give out. There's like four people in the whole school he could pick from. Well, he's got no offense, Matt. Celia, well, that's like, fine. I mean, you gotta pick. Maybe the parasite's on me right now. No, we'd see a person oh, behind you. I don't see anybody. No, maybe it's just a tiny little. No, thing. Tiny Donnie it's like died. A little ant, little ant. Do you guys hear about Tiny Donnie? I, I don't really know did. about Tiny Donnie. He got no. killed. Is Who that a real person? Was he? He's just a tiny, per- a very tiny person. Wow. 
He got killed. Like an inch. Oh. But yeah, that's a... I think if you had to like fight your way out of a room with uh, four other people, you could probably win. I think so, too. So you know, welcome to RLF. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone's enjoying the show. What's your favorite melon? <sighs> what? Uh, how many melons are there? I don't know. Like Cantaloupe and melon? Yeah. Not that one. <laughs> Which one is uh, which one is green? Kiwi, kiwi is green. Kiwi's good. Um, honeydew, honeydew is definitely green. Okay, honeydew. I feel like is honeydew. Green. Everyone likes honeydew, but I think it's garbage. I don't like honeydew. All melons suck. No, water. watermelon. Water. Watermelon is the best melon. Watermelon is the best melon. It's the, everyone loves watermelon. Is what did watermelons exist before, like or? What? Do watermelons grow naturally, like in the wild? I think yeah. so, yeah. Or like, is that one of those foods that only happened because men... Like we made them like, super crazy. Like Twinkies. Like Twinkies <laughs> don't ex- grow in the wild. <laughs> I know that uh, much. <laughs> like, you, you gotta make Twinkies happen. No, I think they occur naturally, but they, you know, there are, so many, there are so many seeds inside watermelons. Okay, it looks if like... they were... Alright, so it was... It looked a little bit different, but it was basically the same concept. Man. Well, that's welcome uh, to boring cast. That's what you get to. Uh, we got the nap. GMOs. <laughs> Ate him. Put him in my mouth and I licked him around. You know what we should do to get things started with our left? Something week? a little, a uh, little sticky. A little sticky. I, I a little adhesive. A little uh, tough to get off of your body. Oh, sticker of the week! Sticker of the week! I sticker forgot. Of the sticker week. of the week. And actually, we have a theme song. What? From Captain Smiles. Captain Smiles. Here it oh, goes. Man. Sticker of the week. It's time for sticker of the week. Damn, Captain Smiles. That is, that pretty, is that's pretty awesome, Captain Smiles. Oof. I really appreciate you spending the time on that. Yeah, seriously. Thank you so much. Of the week. I'm just singing that all day tomorrow. <laughs> Sticker <laughs> of the week. Hot dogs. Hot diggity dogs. So yeah, I let's get to these stickers. All right. I'm gonna be getting rid of the Hulk. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Got a little picture of the good um, just the Hulk's torso. Goodbye, Charizard <laughs> with Whoa. a bucket and uh, shovel. Oh, why? Why, why? <laughs> why would Charizard? I mean, how good could this other one be? The Ch- Charizard, adorable little Charizard oh, with little a bucket Charizard. and a shovel. And now, uh, oh. which sticker of the week are you going to be eliminating? I'm uh, gonna, uh, man. I don't like either of these guys. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this frog. This frog's creep me out. Yeah, I know, oh, Matt. I bet you Matt like this frog. Is so upset right now. What frog is this? He loves that little frog so much. It's creeping me out, Matt. That oh frog. <laughs> it's enough. creeping me out. <laughs> Fair enough, he's gone. Uh, I will be entering in. Lizard man with a cool drink in his oh, hand. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Absolutely. Was, I can't tell if this is a bit or if you actually love this. I thing. fucking love that sticker. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to enter it every time I is get it. Is this not one of your favorite video games? Mm-mm, I have no idea what that is. Oh what? I thought this God. was Assassin's Creed. It? Is it not? I was trying to convince Matt it was. And look at this Rubik's Cube. Who doesn't love an Rubik's Cube? You know? A monster. Monsters. That's right. Matt. Wow. It's a very cool sticker. Does not beat Lizard with a drink in my mouth. All right. Here you go. All right. He's a man with a cool drink in his hand. You know what? I'm going to warm up to him. You sold me. That's that's the pick. That is the damn pick. He makes it onto the table. And I want you to put him. Oh, my god! I want you to do the honor because I know how much you love the... the, I I can't believe that. I really thought this was so bad. Matt, can you take a picture of it before you peel it? I guess. Yes. Thanks. Sticker is... Taking his time peeling that sticker. Coming unpeeled. I... 
I cannot. You have such an affection for these little lizards. Wait, how many? Uh, when, when did you uh, see these stickers? I'm oh, sorry? I, I've pulled this one twice now. Oh. Yeah. And every time, I love it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to speak loud because I'm not by a microphone. Okay, yeah. We have I got the sticker added to the side of the table. Very side nice, placement. Man. So he's always... He's always looking at hey. you? Yeah. I like that. This man with a cool drink in his That's hand. That's beautiful. <laughs> so ridiculous. Another another successful sticker of the week. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nikolai. Absolutely. It's beautiful, and uh, we look forward to Captain Smiles singing us into that every week. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you, Captain Smiles. We might cut it down a little bit. Maybe might have it. to. Uh, you know. Just in lieu of time, but still, I mean, awesome job. Very awesome. I think so. We got so, any uh, Twitter questions? Oh, we do. We do indeed. Sing us in the Scottish one. <laughs> Captain Smiles? Captain Smiles. Captain Smiles is just... Wait, no, Tommy Gunn wrote in. Tommy Gunn did write in. Tommy Gunn did write in. We gotta find that. I wanna find that one first. Uh, Tommy Gunn wrote, he he is alive, everybody. We found him. Thank God. I was worried. Uh, He says, uh, if dogs eat poop, does that make them Eagles fans? (laughs) (laughs) Spoken like a uh, uh, true Eagles hater. (laughs) Which I gotta be honest, I, I totally get. Eagles fans are... Congratulations to Philadelphia. You earned it. You know, you, you got a target on your back still because we all hate you. I've <laughs> never. Um, <laughs> you never what? Have we ever been to Philadelphia? We have not. But, but you respectively, have? like I have in my lifetime. I know you have, but I don't know if Matt has. I'm sorry. Have you been to Philadelphia? I have not been. Did to. you see? Yes, um, I have been to Philly. With NCI? No. We didn't go to Philly. Okay. Did you guys oh. see where uh, Will Smith was born and raised? <laughs> well, he was Philadelphia? In the playgrounds. Yeah, absolutely. That's where he spent most of his days. So. Shooting around. I'm trying to remember. Scooting. Oh, I went I went as a kid. I went as a kid with my family. And a couple of guys were up there good. <laughs> Started making trouble in the neighborhood. In <laughs> one little fight, and his mom got scared and said, you move with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Pain. Ugh. Is that what other songs are there that you hear and you have to like you um, have to sing a verse? Oh god, Ice Ice Baby, because it's such. Like, if I hear I right, stop, there's no way I'm not doing it. Like, <laughs> at least like, a little bit in my head. At, at the very least, I would be like collaborate and listen. <laughs> it's, it, it, um, it, in like the real world, if someone ever says, "Who should I call?" Yeah. Every single time, yeah. Ghostbusters. I have. There's not. I unabashedly <laughs> say Ghostbusters. Um, mine is a uh, uh, only time by Enya. What? Like I just I can't. How do you? How does how it does start? that even go? Oh. Who can say where the road goes? Oh, that song. Where the day flows. <laughs> You know the words to that song? No, no, he does not. What? He's looking no, at the phone right now. I don't know what right he's talking about. You're lying, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I should have known. There isn't a single song that you know. <laughs> Ghostbusters, maybe. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Busting makes me feel good. <laughs> um. <laughs> what about you, Matt? Do you have a song? That I have to sing? Yeah. Just out of uh, irony... Uh, for a South Park episode in the past, and because oh, I love the song, yeah. uh, Sticks, Come Sail Away. Uh, if someone started, I'm sailing away. Set no man calls for emergency. <laughs> I've got to be free. <laughs> oh my God, that's when South Park was like, that's great. Can you believe it? Did you see what they said last night? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. The it just, heyday. It was just eight year olds cursing. Eight year olds cursing. Um, you couldn't see me make quotes with my fingers. <laughs> it's a goddamn podcast, Nikolai. You could hear it. I they heard those quotes. They could hear the quotes. They could hear because I had the inflection of my voice. Yeah. That being said, I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, any any other Twitter questions? Um, I'm looking for one. Okay, so this is a strategy question. 
Uh, I B Twizzled asks yes. if the Hunger Games was a real thing, and you were one of the contestants. Oh boy, okay. how would you play? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a hider at first. There's no way I'm. I feel like I feel like if you're one of the people who jump out real uh, in the beginning, mm-hmm. who like show dominance up front, like you you make a mad dash for the weapons in the middle, and you grab like the big axe. Like you have, you're to almost fight. undoubtedly gonna be the guy who catches an arrow from the person on the opposite side of the mm-hmm. the weapons pile you know what i mean like i just don't feel like i'm lucky enough to pull yeah out. someone's gonna have some weird boomerang thing yeah throw it in my fucking face and i'm just gonna eat shit because i'm not gonna see that coming yeah uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna hide and try to sort of live with birds and shit yeah, live with birds? Yeah, live with birds. Okay. Get my Chloe cut. a bird pussy. <laughs> oh, I know that's a callback. Woof. <laughs> Woof. Um, uh, man, I don't know how I'd play in the Hunger Games. If it's me, like, as I am physically... I just immediately I start yelling, "Let me be on your team! I'll suck dick! I don't care!" Oh my <laughs> God. I'll suck dick. There's only one winner. How much did you to just? <laughs> yeah, but like, maybe it'll keep me alive for a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> like... <laughs> what an odd strategy coming out of District Eight. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> taking him up on the offer. It's real. Weird. Not surprisingly. <laughs> oh man, he's dead. He's dead. You, you heard the rocket. <laughs> Someone just put him down. I didn't see it. He was crying. I'm pretty sure he shit. Oh, no. The cannon goes up right away. Like the next person isn't eliminated for like two hours. I like that the announcer's like, I didn't even see it. Not a strong showing whatsoever. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, my God, the camera guy got bored and panned Dude, away. Whatever, That's nothing's weird. gonna happen. This dude's weird. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I'll suck dick oh, to be God. on your team. <laughs> what? There's only one person on his team, and one of them's How gonna we, wait. still. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> down the strategy just for the next few days. Uh, what they, did he mean? Did he not know the first team? <laughs> what? <laughs> played in slow motion. Maybe we should just pick anybody at random. <laughs> we should know we're sending in. Decade after the infamous I'll suck dick. <laughs> but now that Tony Hawk's here, we're all good. Oh my god. My head hurts. Oh man. Well thanks for the Twitter questions. Uh, RLF two sixty one, <laughs> welcome to District Eight. <laughs> Be on your team. <laughs> <laughs> they did a documentary to find out who actually was the one who got the killing blow. No one cares. Oh, God. <laughs> he needed to be put down. Someone did, did I it. kill him? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh... It turns uh. out that the boomerang guy, the arrow lady, the axe oh, guy man. all did it at the same time. <laughs> but accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we would do in the uh, Hunger Games situation. Wait, hold on. You were going to read Captain Smile's Twitter question before, and I stopped you, and I feel like a total jerk. Because oh, if I was Captain Smiles, and someone's uh, right about to read my words, and then said, no, fuck you, read somebody else's words. Uh, Captain Smiles asks, at all of YouTube, what's the second most important quote in history? Um, oh, man. 
who's got my nuts because I got the wrong pair, General Dwight Eisenhower. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. What do you think that was in reference to? Yeah. Uh, he switched nuts with someone, I think. He had switched nuts. Like, yeah. like, but like, like nuts for pistachios? Yeah, like or? he was yeah. at the theater? Mm-hmm. He got like cinnamon nuts, but he got some Fiesta nuts. Oh, my something. goodness. He didn't like the Fiesta nuts. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But, yeah. Kobe Bryant said, the most important thing is to try and inspire people so that they can be great in whatever they want to do. That's it. That's my uh, second important quote. Wow. That's a pretty important quote. You, I'm trying to... 25 cents tap beers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good quote. Yeah, that feels good. That'd be a good well, second going, one. We don't need road. Yeah, there you go. That's a... You know what? You know what? Yeah. Something like that. That is a great quote. That's the second greatest quote of all time. Because, you know, it's... Something Everyone meaningful and it. inspirational is going to be the first. Hmm. True. Or, you know... Oh no, it wasn't the airplanes, it was Beauty Killed the Beast. Robert Armstrong as Carl Denham in King Kong. Yeah, that's a classic line. Really? Oh my god, that's yeah. one of the most iconic lines in cinema history in the 1930s. I don't know that. Absolutely. Wow. That's, that's you know, those those aren't, I, you know, one thing I can say about this podcast is we're not known for our accuracy, but we do get pretty close with how spot on some of those quotes were. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mainly because we read them off the screen. Yeah, they may not have been verbatim, or they may have been verbatim, either way. But you know that it's true. Absolutely. (laughs) But you know that's true. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) But you know that's true. Yeah, what, man? (laughs) What was that? (laughs) I was mid-sentence, and you jumped in with, but you know that's true. (laughs) Uh, you know what? We're in a tractor hall right now. I want to listen to Tommy Gunn sing, and then I'm going to read some comments. Hot dog, do it, Tommy. The videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section where people can type out heartfelt and thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched. Like here at our left on Wednesdays, now the gang will read a few. Through the heart of Brian, the word Wednesdays. Tommy Gunn, that was absolutely exquisite. 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 Base Day Bobby writes in, Today my wife asked me, <coughs> asked me what RLF was. I told her it's basically three guys sitting in a room talking about cloacas, monkey stickers, and people who have been killed by Matthew Broderick. Oh. That is a great synopsis <laughs> of the last episode of our lab. Yep. Uh, her uh. response. And where can I listen to this? I think it's safe to say I married the right person. Oh, nice. Well, thank you for another viewer. Yes. You've got that right, Base State Bobby. Thank you so you much, definitely Bay State. did. If that was the response, you definitely married the right person. Of course. Yeah. Because I want to listen to any podcast that's really breaking it down about the Broderick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. If I we're want in... Broderick facts. We're... <laughs> 24 7 360. This is the number one source for Broderick news. Oh, we just have a counter <laughs> of his marriage, like the days he's been married to uh, Sarah Michelle. Nice. Wait, no, wait. What's her name? No, Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> I almost said Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> Hourly update. Still no new information on the Broderick case. <laughs> <laughs> the case was closed in 87 or oh. something. Huh. Well, they should reopen it. It seems like a silly podcast to have started then. <laughs> uh, I remembered that JX editor wrote in. <gasps> JX. And he writes, Nikolai, <clears throat> you're here talking about how no one hates a specific dog. Didn't you hate Roxy? Oh, and uh, JX got me dead to rights on that one. Roxy and I were known for our tumultuous relationship. Yes, mm. we were. We did not what? always see eye to eye. The uh, Roxy and I. She was my mom's dog. She's a good puppy. She's a good dog. Just uh, she she growled every time she was near me, and then also didn't like me, <laughs> so I didn't like her. I mean, because this that that all inspired from last week. We were talking. I would I brought up how everybody who owns cats always has the one cat they don't like, and I don't think yes. that makes sense. That's true, it, but it is true. Everybody always has that one cat. They're like, oh yeah, that's Phoebe the cat. 
chili at your face. Yeah, it's okay that you hate a dog. Yeah, you can, you can, but it's you, rare. You don't always hear that. I don't. Know. If yeah, you do, if I you do ever dislike a dog, it's usually a small yappy dog. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we're uh, just in, we're getting <laughs> we're lost. Just, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. So, killing <laughs> every day writes in. Man, I love our left, but I can't help but feel like it's missing something. Hmm, like a dual layer pepperoni pizza. On a pan crust from Papa John's. Oh, man. Better ingredients. No. Better pizza. No. God Papa damn it. John's. They're back. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't want the ads. No. Papa I, John's. I, I just think it's great that Papa John's has been sponsoring the podcast. Papa John's. You know what? Thank you. I, or no. Or isn't your boss a bad guy or do you get fired? Pop, no, no. He's not a bad guy. He, no, he did he, something bad. He didn't do anything bad. He just made a couple of... I guess insensitive comments. Okay. During, you know, and related to the right. Protests. That was a very general question. That's a deeper answer. Yeah, it's a, we're not going to unpack that. it. We're not Anyhow, it. speaking no, yeah. of this, but uh, you know, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's, Papa John's, um, your garbage <laughs> pizza. Yeah, y- you have the taste of nonsense. It's uh, it's, it's like what pizza would be if it were homeless. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be straight with you, Papa John's. You never had Papa John's? No, I haven't, I haven't been there in years since I was a child. So. And when you were? What's up? When you were last at Papa John's? Yeah, I was a child. So it, you may have changed. You may have improved. Uh-huh. I don't know, but, you know. Oh, it may have improved, which implies, of course, that the last time you had it, when you were a child, it was a hot plate of garbage. Yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> I can assure you that uh, was it was delivered. Oh, uh, it few... was delivered to my house recently. Oh, no. Why? Uh, because my niece brought it because she was like, oh, what was I going to get? Is she smoking the pot? Why is she? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. We have a hundred pizza places on the pe- on the moon between your house and the Papa John's. Well, it was 11 at night. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But she said Papa John's over Domino's? She did. And Man. I was like, what? And she gave me a slice, and I was like, sure, I guess I'll eat this nonsense. And, you and how it. was it? It was garbage. Uh-oh. It's awful. It was garbage. It was a doughy, uh, lukewarm center. Yeah. Uh, the cheese was you heat it up. Uh, it's awful. shit cheese. It's super greasy. The, the dough tastes like cardboard. You get uh. cursed. Yeah, there's a curse that. that comes with each box. Yeah. They hex your family. <laughs> and they no, have to take just, your firstborn child. It's messed up. It's a very unenjoyable experience. And the way Domino's been killing it in the past couple of years, <laughs> mm-hmm. right, no reason to go back. And it <laughs> sounds good. Um, Taylor Bodeman writes in, love you guys. We love you, Taylor. Love you too, Taylor. And that actually inspires me because um, I know, well, sorry, let me read the, love you guys, uh, that's a Lily. She was my eight-year-old boxer. Last week, he had sent in a picture of his uh, yes, Aww. his uh, his little pooch doll wearing wearing one of his uh, masks that he had created. Also, I flipped a shit when I saw all the signatures on my mask. Well, we enjoyed signing it for you, Taylor. I, I hope yeah. you enjoy it. I'm Sorry it took that. so long for us to get it, but um, uh, do you Al, mean the reasonable amount of time? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. two years. Few, few, yeah. Yeah. yeah, two to seven years. Um, we weren't even doing the podcast yet. <laughs> um, Al had documented the experience of mailing the uh, the mask back. Yes, is that correct, Al? Yes, I was very excited. Mm-hmm. We were going to do a picture adventure. Yeah, I when I uh, so we got the package wrapped up. We got the mask. Mm-hmm. We were all set. I was real excited. Really excited. Yeah, real excited. Like this excited. This excited. And then I was so excited. I took the package. This excited. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and I took it. You just dropped it off. Mailed it. And then oh. you were like, this. Excited again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was great. So. And I hope you've enjoyed this all visual bit. Mm-hmm. Ed Kringle writes in, has anyone else noticed that Nicholas sings touch me whenever he says sticker of the week? Sticker of the week. That's true. I I am singing... To touch me from Rocky Horror Picture Show. I wanna be dead. 
Uh, yeah, what is it? Creeper of the night. Yeah. Creeper of the night. Dog Sticker of the week. Of the afternoon. Creature. Tra- creature. Creature of the night. Creature Fuck, of that's right. the I night. said creeper. It's creature, definitely. Dog face boy. Oh, I feel like such a stupid idiot. What? No. How could I say the wrong word? <laughs> Between a creeper and a creature? Yeah, yeah. it's very close. Yeah. Yeah. That's easy to mess up. That's fine. Um, either way, that is what I am imitating. But I guess I should change it up. No, you're good. I should change it. No, a sticker of the week should be something else each week. Ooh. Instead of sticker of the week. Uh, and just pick be. another 80s song or 70s. Or... Yeah, just throw it in there. Ooh, we could do it to happy birthday. Um, sticker of, of the, the week. week. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's, that sucks. <laughs> I don't like sticker of the week anymore. <laughs> um, uh, our God is an awesome God. Sticker, sticker of the week, sticker of the yeah, week. I, I don't know that that one's not as ready to go on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> you don't know our God, Nikolai? No. Nope. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. It's a song about Jesus. Never heard this? He's in a... In With a, wisdom, power, and Jesus love. Jesus is in a helicopter. Is an and he's, awesome he's, God. he's fucking mowing people down. It's a, it's, a, it's a church. It's a church song. It's a church song. But, oh, is it like an internet video that you guys have No, it's just watched? a church song. Oh, okay. No, I, in my church they did the Alleluia's. Uh-huh. Oh, they did uh, Alleluia. And they just sing Alleluia over and right, over again. Right, right. Until you realize that it's been an hour and it's time to go home. <laughs> Boy, I miss religion. Anyway. I, man. <laughs> <laughs> so our uh, last comment this week is going to be coming from a uh, classic. You know her. You love to hate her. Her name is Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Oh, nice. You guys really did come up with some creative stuff. But you basically just named off the list of characters I already have. Smiley face. Oh, perfect. So last week, Conspiracy had asked us to come up with some uh, creative characters for a story that she's telling. Um, God damn it. And apparently we just already went down the list of characters she already did. Yeah, I think. And my response to that was, if you want to make a story, do your own damn work. Oh, Oh, yeah. My goodness. Yeah, not really our problem. They're a conspiracy. Yeah. Anyway, throwing down. Of course, Nikolai likes to likes. You like to squanch the beef, <laughs> or unsquanch it. Uh, unsquanch. Oh my God, the unsquanch has been initiated. <laughs> squanch, squanch. Oh, no. oh no, the unsquanch codes. He's got the foot unsquanch <laughs> football. <laughs> of course, Nikolai likes the mean Matt fan art. He's desperate to shift the bullying trend onto somebody else on onto Uh-oh. someone else in the podcast. Your efforts are futile, Nikki. You're branded now, and that will never change. I don't care. You got I don't need. I'll take all the bullying. You cyber bully. You can real bully. You get uh, bully bully. You Ooh, bully bully. Bully even. bully is great. All right. I don't care. Bully bully. Bully bully. Bully bully. Bully bully. Bully bully. bully, bully. bully, bully. bully, bully. That just makes <laughs> us old. That just makes us old that we know that. Uh, only man. Yeah. yeah. It does. Yes. They play yes. that at um, No, they do not. No one That is plays a reference to the cartoons and like some of the movies we used to watch. Yeah, movies. When we were but little kids. I'm pretty sure DJs for kids' parties still Absolutely. play that song. Absolutely. I don't think so. I think they do. Anyway. Um, let's, next week, we're going to have a DJ on the show. And he's going to tell us. We're going to have a DJ? DJ what? DJ, fuck off after you answer the question, DJ. And then he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm DJ. Fuck off after I answer this question, DJ. All right. So can you answer the question, DJ? Yes, I can. And he walks out of the room. Oh, man. <laughs> Lift up to his name. <laughs> Conspiracy continues. Uh-huh. A giant conglomerate food corporation uh-huh. working to bring down Nikolai? Hmm. Oh my god. Who, I wonder, would be behind such a divine conspiracy? The South will rise. <laughs> you gotta stop saying that, man. V.S. I love <laughs> Al's juggling reaction, smiley face. <laughs> I can juggle with telekinesis or whatever it was. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh, the South will rise legitimately concerns us Northerners. That is, you yeah. all have the gun power to do it. <laughs> that's true. You do. You do have the gun power to do it. Um, 
That being said, I'll take all the woolly bullying. Ooh. You know? I'm not desperate to shift anything. Just deflecting the squad. Just desperate to shift this <laughs> hatred out. Cha-cha. Like units. I don't even know what that means. Getting getting the units. I want to look at some pictures. Look at pictures? From the fans, from the heart, it is RLL fan art. Matt is... Um, we talked about Matt being Marilyn Monroe, and uh-huh. Lone Wanderer made it a reality. That's right. It's oh wow, Matt! That's perfect. It's Matterlin. Matt, look at your Matterlin Monroe. Matterlin Monroe. <laughs> you beautiful, beautiful Man, son of a look bitch. Look at those na, 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh man, that is fantastic. That Who is. is- Wait, uh, hold Lone on. Wanderer. Look, look at the top left. Look how happy this guy is to be st- checking out Matt's games. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy, and even this. Look at this uh, photographer. Ooh, oh what a man. friggin' uh, this little pervy guy back here. Paparazzo. Gotta get them pictures for Matt. Snapping off pictures of Matt's. Pa- t- you can paparazzi. see depictions of paparazzi going all the way back to the Great Roman era. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got a picture from Taylor and his callback tag team. Ooh. Oh, look at Whoa. those dogs. Oh, look at them dogs. Look at them dogs. Oh, oh, my Sorry. goodness. Taylor, you really enjoy making masks. Taylor. And you got some cute ass little puppies. Taylor has masks on everyone in a five mile radius around him. Those are some pretty great boxers. I love how happy the dog is on I the know. Right. <laughs> I wonder how. I would love to take bets to, to see how long it took you to get the masks on. Oh, my goodness. And how long they stayed on. Oh, we got the paws. Yeah. Uh, enhance. <laughs> enhance. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love that shit on CSI. Oh, they um. They take the CCTV footage from 1988. Enhance the, the four the, pixels on screen. That's yeah. Rick Nathan. <laughs> Let's get him, boys. They're... Run it through the facial recognition database program. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> I was a uh, when I saw like a clip of one of those shows yesterday, and like they were in the future. Like some of them actually take place <laughs> in the future, so then they can just make up the science. The science, and, and they, it's like they can just say that all this shit exists. It is crazy what they like come up with. <laughs> oh, like, oh my so god! Uh, but beautiful dogs, Taylor. Very yes, nice. they are awesome doggies. Well done. Um, now, uh, Conspiracy actually did take, uh, oh boy. into her own hands, the, uh, Papa John's problem. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and this is actually, uh, our, uh, final fan art. Uh, Conspiracy tweeted at Papa John's. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why are you guys harassing my favorite podcast? <laughs> Goofy face. I hope Nikolai gets shot by a stray bullet. And that, of course, was a comment from last week's episode. Yes. So uh, Papa John's responded. What? Do you mind giving us a link to the page? <laughs> Thanks. And then they wrote, "Oh my God! Hi, this is a troll account. Thanks for bringing this to our attention." <laughs> Holy crap! Oh wow! And uh, then this is the third picture. So. <laughs> well, nice. Thank you so much, Papa John. Social media wow. on top of it. Damn. Papa John tackled that shit. Papa John just like we are. We gotta get our name out of the mud. And then conspiracy was like, by the way, I love this picture of you. Yes. Also, if yeah. I need a gun, I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps into it. Um, wow, I cannot believe that you did that conspiracy. Thank that's, you. That's, yeah, that's seriously. Awesome. I felt threatened by Papa John's. <laughs> First, I cannot believe that Papa John's responded that quickly. That's hilarious. That's, That's great. Pretty that they insane. Did. Hey, man, they gotta clean their name. That's yeah, true. they can't go around thinking people get shot by stray bullets. You know what? Maybe that's part of their uh, their uh, better ingredients. Lead. <laughs> better ingredients. Rooting out trolls online. <laughs> Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can get on board with that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and they support, They just don't. Also, don't want to support stray bullets. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. That's, that's, yeah. Who you're... supports stray bullets, though? I don't. Stray guns. Ooh. Stray guns support stray bullets. I mean, oh. that's where all stray bullets come from, right? Ooh, get away from me. Ooh. Or is that like what? a chicken or What's the egg thing? Ooh, get away from me. Ooh. Why? Ooh. 
I don't like guns around me in my general area. You really like in your close proximity? Yeah. Why? Well, because if I need a gun, well then, I don't want to be there. Holy fucking shit. <laughs>